It is my pleasure to introduce Celia Ganeshi, Professor of Education at Teachers College. She, in turn, will introduce our medalist, Lee Sing Kong, Director of the Institute, National Institute of Education in Singapore. Thank you, Provost James. Good afternoon. What a privilege it is for me to be able to do this. Lee Sing Kong, among the nations of the world today, Singapore is virtually synonymous with educational effectiveness, thanks primarily to the role that Singapore's National Institute of Education, or NIE, has played under your leadership in creating a superb and highly respected teaching workforce. Indeed, Singapore has realized a vision that would be the envy of most schools, to say nothing of entire nations. Its teachers function as a professional community that is committed to sharing their practices and experiences and possesses unparalleled pedagogical skills and discipline-specific knowledge. Teachers in Singapore also enjoy a work-life balance that enables them, in your words, to concentrate on the core business of educating and mentoring children. Perhaps most important, you have strengthened the partnership between the NIE and Singapore's schools in order to engage senior teachers in mentoring students and more broadly to connect the theories imparted in teacher training to the realities of classroom practice. On your watch, each of these emphases has been codified in NIE's strategic plan and teacher education model for the 21st century. The latter sets an example for the world in calling for teachers to place learners in all their diversity at the heart of what they do. The model also encourages teachers to cherish the belief that all young people can learn and to view themselves as experts who collaborate to build a stronger community of practitioners. Perhaps only a researcher and educator who has led breakthrough change in his own field of inquiry could envision so sweeping a transformation across the entire teaching discipline. Earlier in your career, your award-winning research on aeroponics, the growing of plants in an air or mist environment without soil, facilitated the widespread application of that method to commercial agriculture in the lowland tropics. In fact, the fruits of aeroponics are on display at the Singapore International Airport, and I can attest to that. Your research in this area has also been adapted for growing plants that can be harvested for the production of new medicines. Schools in all nations serve a constituency of stakeholders that includes employers, parents, and increasing, increasingly diverse student population. Singapore is blessed with a visionary leader who recognizes that success will depend on attracting and retaining the very best teachers. Through NIE's consultancy arm, NIE International of Singapore, you also are sharing your nation's expertise in teacher education and leadership training with the rest of the world. And we at Teachers College are especially honored to have partnered with you to establish the joint master's degree program with the Department of Curriculum and Teaching. Lee Sing Kong, as the world looks to Singapore for leadership in education, we are proud to recognize you for your brilliant leadership of your nation's educational enterprise, for your deep knowledge of teaching, your focus on students, and your long-range vision for educational excellence in Singapore and worldwide. It is my pleasure to present you with Teachers College's Medal for Distinguished Service.
Thank you, Celia. Thank you, Provost James, for the kind comments. A very good afternoon to the President of Teachers College, Columbia University, Professor Susan Furman, the Board of Trustees of Teachers College, the entire community of Teachers College, graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed a great honor for me to be standing here before you to receive the Teachers College Medal for Distinguished Service. And I'm deeply humbled by this honor. I'd like to begin my address this afternoon by offering my heartiest congratulations to all the graduates gathered here in this cathedral. You have successfully completed yet another milestone in your life's journey and you'll be well positioned to contribute to the betterment of our society's future, be it in the realm of education, psychology, or health. As you embark on the next phase of your journey through life, I would like to share with you some of my own thoughts and experiences. In your professional journey, you will no doubt encounter many challenges but challenges can be opportunities as well. You may have dreams, but you often find these challenges as hurdles for you to achieve your dreams. This is a reality of every professional, new or seasoned, as we live in a world where there exists a diversity of thoughts and opinions. Not everyone will share our dreams and ideas from the start. How then should we respond? I will urge you not to be discouraged when you encounter challenges in your journey. While we ought to respect the ideas and perspectives of others, do persevere in what you believe in. And a time will come where others will be convinced by your perseverance and passion, and you will be able to make a real difference. Thus, Never stop dreaming big dreams. If you persevere and believe in it strongly, there will be a day when the dream will become a reality. I wish to share with you how this dare to dream attitude, passion and perseverance can lead to an imaginable outcome. In this globalized world, it is my dream that our education in schools ought to be more widely in tune to international perspectives so that our educators can bring relevant discussions into the classrooms. In a globalized world like ours now, our children, our students in the classroom ought to be exposed in greater dimensions to the perspectives of the world. So indeed, we must educate our educators to bring such a dimension into the classroom. So how can we do this effectively, especially through formal program collaborations? Perhaps joint programs where international partners could be the order of the new world. While joint programs such as joint masters are quite common in other disciplines, it is often envisaged that it is difficult for educational institutions to develop joint programs as in the field of education that tends to require a deep contextualized practice. But I'm firm in realizing my dream as I strongly believe in it. I took the courage of raising this pro proposal with like-minded educators like President Susan Furman who readily agreed to the proposal. While our thoughts are in sync and in harmony, we were quickly brought back to reality when we found out that the processes of approval from our universities and accreditation bodies would be arduous. Should these challenges prevent us from pursuing what we dream for? Certainly not. Supported by a team, and a dedicated and a committed team from both Teachers College and National Institute of Education, NIE for short, in Singapore we love to reduce long names to acronyms. So NIE for National Institute of Education. 
through this team, we were able to overcome and triumph over these challenges. And in 2011, Provost Thomas James and I were very happy to launch a joint master's program, the first of its kind in Singapore. The first master's of art in leadership and educational change saw its first intake in January 2013 and we now have opened up opportunities for graduate students from NIE and TC to gain perspectives from different international landscapes and systems. It is our dream to further grow this program, to tap into the regional markets in Asia so that TC philosophy and vision of education can be spread in Asia through your partnership with NIE. It is such collaborations that allow us to draw on our synergistic strengths and collective learning experiences to help us realize our mission of preparing our young of today to face the numerous demands of the 21st century global workplace and society. It is important that we educate a generation of good and responsible global citizens able to make a difference in the lives of each other and the world at large. In a fast-changing world, every norm and assumption needs to be questioned and challenged to ensure that we stay abreast with the time. Be it in education, psychology, or health, we must respond to changes with relevance and courage and determination. Responding to such changes at this, in this spirit, NIE undertook a comprehensive review of our teacher education framework and developed a teacher education model for the 21st century, TE21 for short. TE21 captures the demands of the 21st century workplace and the advances in technological affordances as well as the changing profiles of our 21st century learners now dubbed as epic learners who enjoy the first E, experiential learning, are eager, P, participate in the learning, and enthused by rich, I, imagery, and motivated by the connectedness and opportunities of group collaboration, the C. So our 21st century learners are now literally dubbed as epic learners, the digital learners of the 21st century. This mindset change must also be accompanied by changes in the physical learning environment. The traditional 20th century chalk and talk classroom is designed very much for didactic teaching. In this new landscape, our classroom design must allow for maximal opportunities for accompanying pedagogies that cater to the demands of the 21st century epic learners. Even the concept of library as a quiet century has to be challenged. We have situated in NIE at the heart of our library to allow maximal opportunities and exchange of cross fertilizations of ideas. We put a cafe, a Starbucks cafe, right in the heart of the library so that the epic learners can enjoy the environment of connectedness and collaborative learning. Accordingly, NIE has also reconfigured our 72 tutorial classrooms to be collaborative classrooms empowered by technology to facilitate collaborative and interactive learnings by students in groups. In the effort that was under, undertaken with the teacher as the, philo as the facilitator philosophy in mind, and the reconfiguration was done in close consultation with faculty members who added their voices in terms of the design of the classrooms that could bring about maximal interaction and collaborations between and among students and their teachers. Amidst the rhetoric about 21st century education, we must be mindful that we must deliver education in a way that is responsive to the landscape changes and the current demands faced, relevant both in terms of curriculum and pedagogy to the learning profiles of students today and rigorous in the way we design, deliver, and assess. 
These three drivers of excellence underpin my institute's strategic plan for 2013 to 2017, which outlines our strategy for global success that can help us reach new frontiers of excellence in teacher education and educational research. With a basic premise that is values-driven, we embark on strengthening our theory practice linkages through introducing the teacher, student teachers' mind maps and learning journeys, guiding them as they walk the journey of learning. We encourage our student teachers to journal their learning journeys in e-portfolios. Journaling in e-portfolios will help them to integrate and aggregate their learning from pre-service to their clinical field experience and even to their beginning and professional teaching years. Our programs and activities were also designed to enable our student teachers to imbibe values such as their service to the community. Through their experiences, our graduates will learn to help their students translate their values into action. Education for the 21st century is not a luxury but a necessity in preparing our young people for a fast-changing world. As educators, we must respond responsibly. As John Dewey, a pioneer of Teachers College, has reminded us, and I quote, if we teach today's students as we taught yesterday's, we rob them of tomorrow. Graduates, as you leave this cathedral with your hard-earned and well-deserved doctoral degrees, do remember to be the change that you want to see in this world. Do dare to dream for a brand new world. And my heartiest congratulations to you all, and I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Once again, I thank the college for bestowing upon me this medal and this honor, and I hope that that this symbolizes only the beginning of our continued partnership to push the global frontiers of education one student at a time. Thank you.